So if you're ever wondering what games or gear I use for my Nintendo consoles, before we get started today, I wanted to mention that you should stop by my Amazon storefront. I don't talk about my storefront as much as I should, but that page is consistently updated with my favorite games and gear before my videos ever hit the channel. From SD cards to cases to game recommendations, you're going to find it all over there. Just a pro tip and a little word of advice that you guys should definitely head over there and check it out out. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here. Today I want to share with you guys some of my favorite Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite accessories that you absolutely need to check out in 2020. Before we get started though, it is worth noting that these accessories are the ones that I personally use for both my Switch and my Switch Lite. So if you know me, you know that these are going to be minimal, they're going to be easy to travel with, and they are going to offer some great protection. They might not be for everyone, but if you just want to focus on the gaming fun, travel light and not have to worrying about having a lot of things lying around the house these are going to be great for your switch experience for the original nintendo switch most of what i use remains the same from previous accessory videos i have an amfilm tempered glass screen protector installed on my system a vup vup ultra slim hard shell case for storage and traveling a legend of zelda themed dock protector to protect the screen when i dock the switch i use a satisfy switch grip pro and a mini joy con grip more than anything I jam out to my games with my AirPods via the HomeSpot Bluetooth audio transmitter, which is arguably one of my favorite accessories to date. I have a 400 gig SanDisk micro SD card in both this and my Switch Lite for all of them digital games. And I also use an official Nintendo Switch Pro controller. All of these accessories I've been using for quite some time and I really still can't help but recommend them. They really are great. What has changed though with my OG Switch is the addition of Switch Blades. Switch Blades are pretty interesting for a number of reasons. What they do is they slide onto the rail on the side of your console when the Joy-Con are removed. So one, they basically protect the electronic connectors on the sides of the console, and two, they offer a switchblade type mechanism that allows them to act as kickstands for tabletop mode. It really is super cool. I have the electric blue color here, but the switchblades are available in a variety of different colors and actually look really great on the system. I really do dig these. For my Switch Lite, things actually did change quite a bit with how I play it. Nowadays, I exclusively use the official Nintendo Switch Lite flip cover, which I made a video on last week and highly praised because this thing is just awesome. Pair this cover with the tempered glass screen protector from Orsley like I did, and I think you're all set. This case is without a doubt one of the best that you can buy for the light that is out there on the market. It protects the console while also keeping it extremely thin and compact. In fact, the Switch Lite with the case on it is really not that much bigger than my iPhone 11 Pro with its case on, so it totally is pocketable. Also, if you use a backpack or a larger case, this is awesome to just slip your light right into your bag and not have to worry about it. If the flip cover isn't your style though, another great option would be the TomTok Ultra Slim case and the Hori Door Flexi Clear Protector combo. I used these two prior to the flip cover and I just loved every single second of the amount of protection that they offered for only about $30. The Door Flexi shell adds some nice nice peace of mind and some nice grip to the light while the TomTok Ultra Slim case comfortably protects everything and holds additional game cards. This combo really is a great alternative if you aren't sold on the flip cover. And last but not least, before we wrap up this video, I have two more accessories that I think are great for both the Switch and the Switch Lite, the Anchor Power Core 13400 Nintendo Switch Edition Portable Battery, and the Rab Power 61 Watt USB-C Wall Charger. Both of these are great at powering up your Switch and are small, compact, and quick at charging them up in the process. Not to mention, they are multi-purpose, so they can be used to charge up all your devices from phones to tablets to laptops pretty quickly. Whether you're home or you're on the the go, the Anchor Portable Battery and the Rab Power Wall Charger are excellent devices that are totally worth the money. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, let me know in the comments box down below which your favorite Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite accessories are. Did your favorite one make the list here? Is it another one? I would love to know what you think down in the comments box down below. And until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Get out there, go game, and just have some fun. Peace.